One day, Thomas, Percy, and Toby were waiting in their in their sheds to take a goods train on Thomas's branch line. They were very annoyed that day because something or someone woke them up in the middle of the night and they did not sleep well. None other than Mattel the Evil Red Devious Engine. He was an engine with a similar construction to Thomas, the number 666 on his side, always with a white and red trim, always has a wheel slip as he was an improper engine, as he could not function well enough. Thomas always thought that it was a disgrace to see Mattel as a E2 like Thomas. Mattel always had a whistle like Thomas, but it was deformed and demented, and twisted, and slower and lower. And then Mattel came up in his leak way in the sheds. And then Toby and Percy told Thomas, You know what to do, Thomas. Thomas agreed. We are tired of you, Mattel. Absolutely tired. And that's when it happened. Thomas went into Ultra Instinct mode. Nothing could stop him. Over here, you dumb, silly Mattel. Thomas was mad. Mattel was always a mute engine. He could not say anything. You dumb, stupid train! That's when Thomas took the classic look of the series, the season one livery, to show the inner side here. We always had the season one. Good old luck! Everything was fine until Hit Air claimed Thomas. Then, the Brenner era. It was fine too. The Hit area wasn't even that bad. Big World Big Adventures took down a big slope. And then you are here with season 25. What kind of a fool are you to make such a thing? It is a shame to, and it is just disgusting for you to look like me and E2, a slight resemblance of me. You will not be here today. Not at least to see the evening as it is bright morning, as you can see, unless you're blinded by such stupidity by your saw blade logo. Thomas thought a great word thing. And then finally, in the bed. Thomas let go of Mattel and stopped dead in his tracks. But Mattel still kept going. Mattel couldn't do anything. It rose up the tracks and went down the steep one. It slowed down a tiny bit, and just to the point where it was too late. That's when Mattel snapped off of the tracks. Puffing noise continued, and then that's when, finally, Mattel crashed into the... His wheels had stuck up to his upper cab and his undercarriages. He couldn't move, but something was holding him up. Not the water, but it looked like he was a pile of scrap there. And Thomas finally came there. You silly, silly, silly thing. Why would anyone think good things about you? Season 25 in Big World Big Adventures would never be understandable. You can incorporate girl characters, and you didn't have to make them your own because you had, well, horrible characters that were written. Because of your profit, everything is going bad. None of us did this to you. Thomas and friends did not do this to you. You did this to yourself. You 
quite literally drew your own fate. So I would say, good riddance, Mattel. For that knowledge, Thomas Puff, bom Thomas Puff away. One more thing, because of you, fans are referring back to Chuggington, Mattel. But Thomas knew that he was right in the had been released out of his mind. He knew that he wouldn't have any much left of him from season 25. With that, Thomas simply fell asleep. <laughs>